Some of you have been very naughty. So, I now know over a hundred people that intentionally got themselves banned. I know over a hundred people. I'm going to repeat that. I know over 100 people now that intentionally got themselves banned. Of those few, a few notable names are uh, Hockey Kid, Just Ballistic, uh, Drake Conic, Kingers was banned. I don't know if he's still banned. I think he might have got unbanned because he was apparently wrongfully banned. I don't know, but I know over a hundred. I know over a hundred players that I have known for nearly a year, if not longer. That are now banned. Guys, what are you doing? I mean, Jesus Christ. Just because one thing happens to MCPVP, you decide to break the law, take matters into your own, own hands. Remember, in about two weeks, when you are alone trying to trying to go play on factions. Remember what I say right now. You, sir or madam, are an idiot. You are the most stupid person in the world. You got yourself banned because an inactive admin was removed from the line of duty. Like I had, like I was screaming at everyone, all of my friends and people I know, that were going to get themselves intentionally banned. I screamed. I swear to God. I spammed it to them. All I could. I did everything in my power to get them to not intentionally get banned. I told them wait for MCPVP to bring out an official statement. Saying what happened. Detailing what they're, they were willing to release. What they will not say. Well. Roughly. About 80 people that I know got ba got uh, banned intentionally. And then, MCPVP, our god, the creator of MCPVP, my quote-unquote cousin, if you uh, have been a long-time sub, sent out an official statement on the forums saying what exactly happened. Chunes was inactive. He was not meeting what the other admins were doing. He even posted a uh, stat chart that showed that Chunes had like the least logins, least bans, least of everything. So, they had to remove him from adminship. And then Admiral and Mono hijacked the MCPVP stream after uh, Bad Boy Halo went down. Now, the thing with that is apparently the rule is if no one is streaming on the MCPVP stream on the uh, their official Twitch, y then you are allowed to go stream, that you can stream if no one else is streaming, common sense. So, the thing that they aren't really clearing up that we just kind of have to assume is that either Admiral or Mono or a friend or a hired quote-unquote friend from from either Admiral Admiral or Mono hit off Bad Boy Halo and then followed up by Mono and Admiral taking over the stream and streaming their own stuff because technically no one was streaming at the time because Bad Boy Halo had just gone offline because he got hit off. So the details on that are still sketchy, but assuming the worst, Admiral and Mono did DDoS him and then started streaming so Bad Boy Halo could not break back in. I truly do not, do not know what happened and we will probably never know the official uh, I guess words of what happened unless Mono or Admiral wants to come clean. And who knows, they might be innocent, they might all be getting framed. I don't know, for all I know this could be a giant cover up by HC Luke. I, mean, I doubt it, I, there's like not even a 1% chance at that. You just ha I just have to be optimistic. But anyways, guys. Stop doing illegal stuff. That's the basic of this video. And also, 
you know, illegal stuff, I mean by real-world illegal and in-game illegal. Don't get yourself intentionally banned because, you know, in the end, the one server you've been on for nearly a year, if I know someone that joined before me, I've been on this server for over two years, I know someone that joined before me, and he got himself banned. Let that sink in. He's been on this Minecraft server basically since it started. Literally since it had 70 players. I've been on here since it had 70. He might have been on when it had 60. He joined only a few days before me. So, yeah. He got himself banned. This has influenced his life for the past two years. Because it has, by, my God, it's influenced my life. I mean, I now have a YouTube channel because of this server, and I don't know where I would be without this channel, or MCPVP. Well, I know where I probably would be, and that's a dark, uh, that would have, that, I'm not going to mention it, because I tried to make that video a couple weeks ago, and it, I have it privated, it just is, it's really dark, and not suitable for young children or I guess my younger viewers and yeah anyways though basically guys I just want to tell you don't get yourself intentionally banned because like I was about to say this server you hate right now saying oh MC PvP is dying it's really not even if they were to get rid of all the survival servers, get rid of main, get rid of badger, get rid of frickin' elite, you would still have Hunger Games. Hunger Games could survive on its own easily. It can easily survive on its own. CTF could quite possibly survive. Sabotage could probably survive if they lower the number of servers because they, they would they would go from about 180 servers if they dropped it to about a hundred they have they would have full servers 24 7 headshot uh, give it some time and it'll probably be good zone control uh, I'm not even gonna comment on it but MC PvP would survive even if they got rid of all three servers guys I mean, come on, use common sense. So, in two weeks, when you want to buy an unban, because you realize how much of an idiot you are for getting yourself intentionally banned, just remember, all that money that you are sending to them is just going to MCPVP in the server that you quote-unquote hate and you think is falling apart, you are going to put a, you're going to have a smile on your face, purchase that unban and go on with your merry day and go play on MCPVP because it's the only thing you've known to do on Minecraft for over a year. Guys, just use common sense. <sighs> One more thing, and I Stimpy does not like me touching on this, but, bro, you know I have to. I mean, Stimpy, I care about you. I know what it's like to get doxxed. Well, I haven't been doxxed, doxxed, but I know what it's like to have stuff sent to your house. I know what it's like to have the SWAT team sent to your house. I've had the SWAT team sent to my house three freaking times now, guys. Uh, pizza is not that much, but apparently my keyboard just like died when I started pounding my table. So, uh, da, 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 yeah, my keyboard ain't working. I literally just, well, okay, now it's, oh my god. So, Stimpy, I know I've said this multiple times. Guys, if you get a, if you get the link to Stimpy's docs, don't click it. For the people that are spamming it, 
you you do realize MCPVP has your information. You can change your IP as many times as you want because the majority of the people doing the illegal stuff are the idiots that also donated. And you know, when you donate, you give your credit card or bank account information to MCPVP. <clears throat> if they really wanted to, they could take action against you. But they won't. Unless it keeps on going on. So how about this, guys? Let's compromise. My keyboard is still broken. So, okay, it's somewhat working. I'm going to have to probably replace this because it is dying. Anyways, guys, uh, just don't do illegal stuff. And I will see you all later. And I'm going to go uh, try and fix my keyboard because it's barely working. Apparently, like, my W ain't. It, it ain't working, guys. I'll see you later.